express no doubt for what we write and what we wrong. Compassion defense for life is a force for good, and sadistic destruction of life is a force for evil. Any living being can choose to be kind or be not, be peaceful or be violent. Either way, it is a choice. Anybody can see that their actions been violent. Anybody can see that their actions break the moral barriers for somebody else. Anybody knows that murder or rape, torture and abuse is wrong. And if you don't do you're being insane. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits to deny other living beings their freedom. So that you can harm them, slave them and rape them, abuse them. That's not what rights are about, that's injustice. As humanity, we murder something like 150 billion animals. The least assessments from 2006 to 2009. There's more that are being humans live in the whole human history. Humanity prays for mercy, but is not willing to extend it to others. Why humanity thinks that they deserve compassion? If there be not some willing to extend it to other living beings, and nothing will accept inconsistency or injustice, even if it comes from God, if God exists and tolerates this, it will be vengeance on God. The Life suffering of a being can be equal on any living being, no matter or the victim or the vict yes or the victim being cow and chicken or turkey or a fetish fur and Porsche. No living being wants to be treated the way we treat the animals. No living being, no human wants to be. Hanging upside down that somebody cut their throat and that they bleed to death. Nobody wants that somebody burn them in unscientific pseudo science that we call vivisection. Or that somebody put one metal hat on somebody's head so that they can elect good them. Nobody wants it. Take occasional on the suffering while you spell yourself the sight. Why always some little group of people that been more kind have always to prove to the majority that the majority is unjust. We have to done with slavery, with women rights, and now we do it with animal rights. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice anywhere. We not can live by your unjust laws and live by your unjust system because no cooperation with evil is as much moral as his cooperation with good.
is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom so that you can harm, slave them and rape them. That's not what rights are about. Universal compassion is the only guarantee of morality. Stop speciesism. That's the form, is first form of discrimination humans being told. If we don't have speciesism, all forms of discrimination become totally impossible. That's how we learn. We learn here first that some animals be pet, other animals being command being commodities, others being yes pets, and others being entertainment. Some animals be loved like dogs and cats and guinea pigs and uh, and other animals we can mock and excuse and exploit. If that not mean the essence of discrimination, I don't know what it'd be. <sighs> Treating one other living being without reasoning in some or another way. Racism become totally impossible. Sexism become totally impossible. Discrimination is evil on its foundation, or it is not. It don't work that way. You don't can choose and pick which kinds of discrimination you like or not. That's injustice. Compassion begins by the dinner table, by what you eat on a daily basis. Step in the forty in the twenty one century. It is two thousand and sixty. It is have to stop. Stop being a hypocrite. You don't deserve rights when some other living being have not. And animals can qualify it as such, no matter how you look to it. If they can locate water to drink, if they're being thirsty, if they can locate food to to, if I feel can find that, if they be hunger, have hunger. If they can locate a space to hide, if they don't want to see. If birds fly in a V formation, all the things being logical, th logical things to do. And it must be logic and a bit rational as well. It is the human animal that play the most of the time on instincts. Eating hamburgers, McDonald's, junk food, smoking cigarettes, and using heroin is not logical thought. This do this is happening because my media, parents, friends told them to do this. If you if humans being rational beings, we don't destroy our planet, destroy ourselves. And destroy the other animals. So let you now show humanity that you mean rational beings by giving compassion to any living being. Stop discrimination by its roots. Screw human rights, earthling rights. That's something we have to fight for. 
equal treatments for any living being. Humans, use for once your mind. Treat others just like you want to be treated yourself. Since nobody in the world want to be raped, torture or abuse. All these actions have to be put on execution. I see nothing wrong with capital punishment. If you've been 100% willing to kill and ruin somebody else's life, I think you give up your right to be treated nicely and fairly. The position we hold is after said to be extreme and the ones that hold it being called extremists. Also personal suggestions now, being that extreme positions cannot be right and that extremists must be wrong. But I've been an extremist when I want to become to rape. I've been against it all the times. I've been an extremist when I become to abuse of the, the mental retarded, the canine. I've been an extremist against it all the time. I've been an extremist when it comes to murder, abuse, uh, exploitation, and all the, in all the moral questions. I've been an I've been extreme against it all the time. The plain fact is. Moral truth is after said to be extreme. And, and when the injustice is absolute, you must be opposed 100% of the time. As long as there have been 